Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to inject Kinneret or Anakinera. Kinneret is a daily injection that my doctor has prescribed to treat my rheumatoid arthritis. Kinneret is shipped straight to my house in boxes of seven single-use, pre-filled, graduated glass syringes, each containing 100 milligrams of Kinneret. When my shipment arrives, I put them right into the fridge in their original carton, as Kinneret must be refrigerated and protected from light. Don't freeze or shake Kinneret. The dose of Kinneret for adults with RA is 100 milligrams per day. That's one full syringe. If you have any questions regarding your daily dose, speak with your healthcare provider. Choose a Kinneret pre-filled syringe that matches the day of the week until all seven syringes are used. Check the expiration date and let the solution come to room temperature for 30 minutes before injecting. If a Kinneret syringe is left unrefrigerated for more than 12 hours, you must discard it. When your Kinneret is at room temperature, set up a clean, flat workspace and gather your supplies. You'll need alcohol swabs or wipes, some dry gauze, tissues, or a cotton ball, and your needle clippers or puncture-resistant sharps container. Be sure that the liquid in the syringe is clear and colorless. A few small bubbles are not a problem. Then wash your hands thoroughly with warm, soapy water. Now it's time to select your injection site. Be sure to choose a new site each time you inject Kinneret. Rotating sites is really important because injection sites skin reactions are the most common side effect with Kinneret. Most people get these reactions, which may be redness, swelling, bruising, itching, or stinging at the injection site. Injection site skin reactions are most common during the first month of treatment, and they usually go away after about 14 to 28 days. Do not inject an area that is tender, red, bruised, or hard, and avoid areas with scars, stretch marks, or that are close to visible veins. Clean your injection site with an alcohol swab or wipe and let the area dry before injecting Kinneret. To give the injection, hold the syringe barrel and pull the cover straight off the needle. Gently pinch a fold of skin at the cleaned injection site. Hold the syringe like a pencil at a 45 to 90 degree angle to the skin and insert the needle into the skin with a quick dart-like motion. Slowly push the plunger all the way down to inject Kinneret. When the syringe is empty, pull the needle out of the skin while keeping the needle at the same angle. After removing the needle, place a cotton ball or gauze over the injection site and press for several seconds. Don't use an alcohol wipe as it may stain. Be sure to dispose of your syringe safely right away, either in the trash after clipping the needle or in a sharps disposal container. Don't forget to track your injection site in a diary or on the Kinneret Injection Tracker. You can find an injection tracker journal in the Getting Started on Kinneret kit, or you can print a tracker sheet at kinneretrx.com. And remember, if you have questions about storing or injecting Kinneret, Kinneret on Track nurses are available at 866 547 0644, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. For questions about your treatment, please see the Kinneret prescribing information or ask your doctor. Kinneret Anakinra is a prescription medicine called an interleukin 1 receptor antagonist, IL 1 RA, used to reduce the signs and symptoms and slow the damage of moderate to severe active rheumatoid arthritis, RA, in people aged 18 years and older when one or more other drugs for RA have not worked. Kinneret is not for children with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. Important safety information. Do not take Kinneret if you are allergic to proteins made from bacteria called E. coli. Ask your healthcare provider if you are not sure. Anakinra or any of the ingredients in Kinneret. See the end of the patient leaflet for a complete list of ingredients in Kinneret. Before starting Kinneret, tell your healthcare provider if you have an infection, a history of infections that keep coming back, or other problems that can increase your risk of infections. Are scheduled to receive any vaccines. People using Kinneret should not receive live vaccines. Have kidney problems. Are pregnant or plan to become pregnant. It is not known if Kinneret will harm your unborn baby. Are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed. 
it is not known if Kinneret passes into your breast milk. You and your healthcare provider should decide if you will use Kinneret or breastfeed. Tell your healthcare provider about all the medicines you take, including prescriptions and over the counter medicines, vitamins, and herbal supplements. Kinneret and other medicines may affect each other and cause serious side effects. Especially, tell your healthcare provider if you take certain other medicines that affect your immune system, called tumor necrosis factor TNF blockers. Ask your healthcare provider for a list of these medicines if you are not sure. Know the medications you take. Keep a list of your medicines and show it to your healthcare provider and pharmacist when you get a new prescription. Kinneret may cause serious side effects, including serious infections. Kinneret may lower your ability to fight infections. During treatment with Kinneret, call your healthcare provider right away if you get an infection, have any sign of an infection, including a fever or chills, or have any open sores on your body. You may get an infection if you receive live vaccines while you use Kinneret. You should not receive live vaccines while you use Kinneret. Allergic reactions. Stop using Kinneret and call your healthcare provider or get emergency help right away if you have any of these symptoms of an allergic reaction. Swelling of your face, lips, mouth or tongue, trouble breathing, wheezing, severe itching, skin rash, redness or swelling outside of the injection site area, dizziness or fainting, fast heartbeat or pounding in your chest, tachycardia or sweating, decreased ability of your body to fight infections, immunosuppression. It is not known if treatment with medicines that cause immunosuppression, like Kinneret, affect your risk of getting cancer. Low white blood cell count, neutropenia. Kinneret may cause you to have a lower number of certain white cells, neutrophils. Neutrophils are important in fighting infections. You should have blood tests before starting treatment with Kinneret then monthly for three months. After the first three months, you should have your blood tested every three months for up to one year. The most common side effects of Kinneret include injection site skin reactions. The symptoms of injection site skin reactions may include redness, swelling, bruising, itching, and stinging. Most injection site reactions are mild, happen early during treatment, and last about 14 to 28 days. RA gets worse with treatment if you already have RA. Headache, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, joint pain, fever, feeling like you have the flu, sore throat or runny nose, sinus infection, pain in your stomach area. Tell your healthcare provider if you have any side effect that bothers you or does not go away. These are not all of the possible side effects of Kinneret. For more information, ask your healthcare provider or pharmacist. You can also see the full prescribing information for Kinneret, including patient information and instructions for use, at www.kinneretrx.com slash pdf slash full prescribing information english dot pdf. To report suspected side effects, contact Sobe North America at 1-866-773-5274 or FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088.